finishing my GED means everything. Everything that I've tried to do in life brought me back to needing my high school diploma. I want a better life for me and my family. I couldn't give up. I couldn't give up. I feel great. Um, you know, I feel like, like a new person, like, you know, it's just having that diploma, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a great sense that you've accomplished something. My motivation, I have four kids. My oldest is 12. I want to be able to help her with all of her homework when she comes home. And uh, that right there was something I was always afraid of. Like, oh my gosh, they're gonna grow up and I haven't gotten my high school diploma. How am I gonna help them with their homework and different things like that? I'm very happy. I'm very proud of what I did. And it was kind of hard, but I'm very, uh, I have a lot of confidence now. I'm very, very happy right now. I know that I can do more stuff and continue with my education. That's the important thing right now, my priority. It feels so great, you know, because I know there are, there are small steps, but at that same time, they are big because in the past, I didn't thought that it was going to happen one day, you know, it was like, it's incredible for me. <laughs> the challenging part is just trying to balance, balance work, school, and um, home life and stuff like that. It's hard, but if you work towards it and you want it, you'll get there and then you'll be really happy once you got there. It's a rewarding and a really fun experience. My advice for other students doing the same thing, set goals and keep to your guns with those goals and muddle through it. And in the end, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm always busy because I have two jobs and I have to take the construction classes in the evening and a 509 program. So it is too much going on, you know. Yeah, but I make it, yeah. That's the that's the the best thing. I make it. My advice to the students participating in the HSED and the GED program will be not to give up, make time for what you want, stay dedicated, and you have to discipline yourself and believe that the teachers are giving you the knowledge that you want to receive. I definitely like to thank my mom and my sister um, and my teachers who really helped me through the GED program. I had no idea about anything to do with the GED program and they worked with me the entire time. I want to say thank you for my great teacher, excellent teacher I have. I have a great group of teachers. Always they are telling me you can make it. Yeah, don't give up, you can make it. Uh, my husband did a lot of driving on traveling times while I did my homework in the car. I would like to thank family, friends, uh, MATC staff um, for helping and supporting me throughout my journey at the 509 program. My teachers, I would like to thank my family, I would like to thank my advisor, and I would like to thank God for being there supporting me. My next steps are just finishing up the program that I'm currently enrolled in right now, which, which is the home, and, home construction and remodeling program. And after that, you know, We'll see where it takes me. Oh, my plan is to uh, get my master's degree. I want to help people or children who have been abused, sex, sexual abuse or mental abuse. Yeah, I want to help those children. My next step would be to go to Madison College and get into a program for accounting. My next steps would be to take credits and finish at Madison College and go on to a four-year college. My long-term uh, career goals are to become uh, a nurse, and then I eventually want to get my bachelor's in nursing and work in UW Health uh, Pediatrics. So I'm currently working for UW, and I think I, I see that happening.
Thank you, Madison College. La réussite. Gracias, Madison College. Thank you, Madison College. Khop chai lai lai, Madison College. Thank you, Madison College, for making all of this possible. Thank you, Madison College. 